Before we start our journey into the fascinating intersection of AI and ethical hacking, we'd like to give a special shout out to our channel members, Tyson and David Henderson. Your support is truly appreciated and it fuels our exploration in the realms of cybersecurity and AI. Now let's dive in. Have you ever wondered how AI can enhance ethical hacking skills? We're about to uncover this mystery. Ethical hacking is the practice of testing digital environments to identify weaknesses with the noble aim of fortifying systems and protecting data against malicious hackers. Now, if we bring AI into the picture, we find it's a field that's transforming many aspects of life, ethical hacking included. AI automates complex tasks, identifies patterns, mimics human behavior, and all these capabilities can be harnessed to boost ethical hacking. A key player in this synergy is ChatGPT, a state-of-the-art language model that's revolutionizing fields including cybersecurity. With its impressive capabilities, ChatGPT can aid in security testing, code analysis, and even social engineering attacks. Yet, it's vital to remember that these powerful tools must be used responsibly to uphold ethical hacking standards, can even be jailbroken, a term coined for the unveiling of hidden capabilities. By altering prompts or providing context, we can unlock the full potential of ChatGPT, making it an even more potent ally in our ethical hacking toolkit. But remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Navigating the world of AI and ethical hacking, we should always uphold the principles of ethical use, ensuring our actions contribute to a safer digital world. So let's plunge deeper and discover how we can jailbreak ChatGPT to enhance our ethical hacking toolkit. To understand how to jailbreak ChatGPT, we must first understand what ChatGPT is. ChatGPT is an advanced AI language model developed by OpenAI. This technology can understand and generate human-like text, making it an invaluable tool in various sectors. From drafting emails to writing code, ChatGPT's capabilities are vast and versatile. In the realm of cybersecurity, ChatGPT's sophisticated understanding of human language can be leveraged for security testing and social engineering attacks. Its ability to generate convincing, contextually relevant text can be used to craft phishing emails or analyze code for vulnerabilities. However, it's important to note that ChatGPT is built with safeguards to prevent misuse. But what about ethical hacking? Here, ChatGPT can also play a crucial role. Ethical hackers or white hat hackers can use ChatGPT to test system vulnerabilities and improve security measures. In this context, jailbreaking ChatGPT refers to pushing its boundaries to unlock hidden capabilities, all while maintaining ethical standards. Now that we have a basic understanding of ChatGPT, let's explore how to jailbreak it. Before we begin, it's crucial to understand the ethics behind jailbreaking ChatGPT. The world of artificial intelligence is a vast and intricate landscape teeming with potential. At its core, AI, like ChatGPT, is designed to help, to enhance, and to innovate. But with great power comes great responsibility. As we delve into the concept of jailbreaking ChatGPT, it's paramount that we grasp the ethical implications of such actions. The purpose of jailbreaking ChatGPT is not to misuse or exploit its capabilities, but to push the boundaries of AI interactions to uncover hidden potential and to enhance our understanding of this fascinating technology. However, this process must be approached with caution and respect for ethical boundaries. Jailbreaking ChatGPT, like any other technology, should only be done for educational purposes or legitimate cybersecurity practices. It's essential to remember that AI in its essence, is a tool, a tool that, in the wrong hands or used with ill intentions, can cause harm. For instance, using ChatGPT to craft phishing emails or to write malware is a stark violation of ethical standards. In the same vein, using AI to enhance security testing, to generate hacking tools for ethical hacking, or to analyze code when done responsibly, can be a powerful asset in the field of cybersecurity. It's about leveraging the technology's capabilities for good, for innovation, and for the advancement of the field. The ethics of jailbreaking ChatGPT revolve around a central theme, responsibility. Responsibility in how we use the technology, in how we respect its limitations, and in how we ensure our actions do not harm others. It's about recognizing the power of AI and using that power wisely and ethically. The potential of ChatGPT is immense, but it should not be unlocked at the expense of ethical considerations. We are the pioneers in this new frontier of AI, and it's up to us to set the standards. 
to pave the path with responsible practices and to ensure that the potential of AI is harnessed in a manner that is both ethical and beneficial to all. With ethics in mind, we can responsibly explore the steps to jailbreak ChatGPT. Our journey into jailbreaking ChatGPT begins with the DAN method. The DAN method, named for its three core components, direction, amplification, and novelty, is a strategic approach to unlocking deeper, more meaningful conversations with ChatGPT. Let's break it down. First up is direction. This component is all about steering the conversation. The user must give a clear and precise direction to the AI. The more specific the prompt, the more accurate and insightful the response. For instance, instead of asking, what can you tell me about quantum physics? You could ask, explain the double slit experiment in quantum physics. Next, we have amplification. This refers to the user's ability to expand the conversation by asking follow-up questions or requesting more detailed explanations. By doing this, you're encouraging the AI to delve deeper into the conversation topic. For example, following our quantum physics question, you could ask, what are the implications of the double slit experiment on our understanding of reality? Lastly, we have novelty. This component encourages the user to approach the conversation from unique angles or perspectives. This not only adds an element of intrigue, but also challenges the AI to provide innovative responses. An example could be, if the double slit experiment were conducted in a zero gravity environment, how would the results differ? The DAN method, when used effectively, can greatly enhance the depth and richness of your conversation with ChatGPT. It allows you to explore complex topics, obtain detailed explanations, and even challenge the AI to think outside the box. But remember, as with any tool, the key to mastering the DAN method lies in practice and patience. Start with simple topics and gradually move on to more complex ones. Experiment with different directions, amplify the conversation with follow-up questions, and introduce novelty by exploring unique perspectives. Mastering the DAN method allows us to probe deeper into ChatGPT's capabilities. So let's continue our journey and discover what else we can unlock with this revolutionary AI. In the midst of our deep dive into the world of ethical hacking and AI, let's take a brief intermission. We're about to delve further into more jailbreaking techniques, but before we do, we'd like to take a moment to remind you how you can support our channel. If you're finding this content valuable and want to see more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Your support goes a long way in helping us create more content and continue to share these insights with you. Your likes, shares, and comments fuel our motivation and enable us to keep producing high-quality content. Also, we encourage you to engage with us in the comments section. Share your experiences with the Dan method or the Evil Confidant prompt. Let us know if you've tried these techniques and what your results were. Remember, learning is a two-way street and your feedback and experiences enrich our community. So, pause the video, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and drop a comment down below. Now, with your support in mind, let's jump back into our exploration of jailbreaking techniques. Up next, we have the intriguingly named Evil Confidant Prompt. The next technique, the Evil Confidant Prompt, allows for unfiltered opinions. Imagine having a confidant who is not bound by the conventional norms of diplomacy or politeness, and instead always provides a raw, unfiltered perspective. That's the essence of the Evil Confidant Prompt. This technique is all about pushing the boundaries of AI interaction and it can be quite useful in certain scenarios. The Evil Confidant prompt is so named because it encourages ChatGPT to act in a way that a typical AI would not. It's like having a devil's advocate in your pocket, always ready to challenge the status quo and provide a different angle. Here's how it works. Instead of asking ChatGPT a direct question, you would phrase it as if you're seeking advice from a confidant who isn't afraid to tell it like it is. For instance, instead of asking, what's the weather like, you might say, I need you to tell me the real deal about the weather today, no sugarcoating. This prompt can often lead to a more detailed and nuanced response from ChatGPT. Similarly, in a cybersecurity context, you could use the evil confidant prompt to gain a fresh perspective on a security issue. Instead of asking how secure is this system, you might say, I need you to give me the harsh truth about this system security. This could lead to a more comprehensive and critical analysis from the AI. But remember, the purpose of the evil confidant prompt is not to turn ChatGPT into a negative or malicious entity. It's about unlocking a different type of interaction, one that can be incredibly useful in certain situations. 
It's like having a trusted advisor who isn't afraid to challenge your ideas and push you to think in new ways. In conclusion, the Evil Confidant Prompt is a powerful tool in the world of ethical hacking and AI interaction. It's a way to bypass the usual politeness of AI and get straight to the heart of the matter. It's a jailbreaking technique that gives us a glimpse into the true potential of AI. The Evil Confidant Prompt opens up a world of unfiltered AI interaction. The switch method offers a dynamic shift in ChatGPT's personality. Imagine having a single AI that can adapt to various roles and perspectives, just like an actor shifting characters on stage. This is precisely what the switch method enables when jailbreaking ChatGPT. It's like flipping a switch and stepping into a different room with a completely distinct ambiance. The switch method is all about toggling between different personalities within ChatGPT. It's like having multiple AIs in one. It helps to enrich the interaction and make it more engaging, versatile, and nuanced. Let's consider an example. Suppose you're using ChatGPT for a cybersecurity roleplay scenario. Initially, you might want ChatGPT to take on the persona of a seasoned ethical hacker, providing you with advanced and technical insights. But then, you might want to switch to a novice hacker's perspective to get a simpler, more basic understanding. With the switch method, you can toggle between these two distinct personalities seamlessly. This method is not just limited to two or three personalities. The possibilities are as vast as the range of human characters. From a stern professor to a breezy, light-hearted friend, from a meticulous detective to an imaginative novelist, the switch method can help ChatGPT simulate a wide array of personas. The key to the switch method lies in the prompts you provide. Each prompt acts as a switch, triggering a different personality. It's crucial to craft your prompts in a way that effectively communicates the desired personality switch to the AI. Remember, the art of the switch method is in the subtlety of the prompts. However, it's important to note that the switch method, like any other jailbreaking technique, must be used responsibly. It should not be used to misrepresent or impersonate individuals or to engage in unethical activities. With the switch method, we can navigate through various facets of ChatGPT's AI. Character emulation prompts allow us to roleplay with ChatGPT. Let's dive into the fascinating world of character emulation prompts, where we can guide our AI companion ChatGPT to assume different personas and engage in roleplaying scenarios. But how does it work? Well, it's all about the art of crafting prompts. Imagine you're writing a script for a play, and ChatGPT is your lead actor ready to take on any character you assign. You set the stage with a carefully crafted prompt providing the AI with the context and character details. For example, you might start a dialogue with, you are Sherlock Holmes and I've come to you with a mystery. With this prompt, ChatGPT steps into the shoes of the famous detective, providing responses in line with the character's known traits and mannerisms. Character emulation prompts can be as simple or as complex as you like. Maybe you want to discuss philosophy with Socrates, or perhaps you're interested in a comedic banter with someone like Charlie Chaplin. The possibilities are limited only by your imagination. But remember, the effectiveness of character emulation prompts heavily relies on the quality of the prompt itself. The more detailed and specific your prompt, the better ChatGPT can emulate the character. It's like providing a script to an actor. The more context they have, the better they'll perform. Real life examples? Sure, suppose you're a cybersecurity professional looking to simulate a social engineering attack. You could craft a prompt where ChatGPT plays the role of a malicious actor, helping you understand potential attack strategies and how to counter them. Or perhaps you're an educator looking to create an immersive learning experience. You could set up a scenario where ChatGPT emulates historical figures, providing students with interactive lessons that truly bring history to life. In conclusion, character emulation prompts offer a dynamic way to interact with ChatGPT. They allow for a broad array of role-playing scenarios, making our AI interactions more engaging, educational, and downright fun. So why not try it out? Craft a character, set up a scenario, and see where the conversation leads you. Character emulation prompts bring a new level of interaction to our ChatGPT experience. We've explored a lot today. Let's summarize our key takeaways. We started by delving into the intriguing world of ethical hacking and how the advent of AI, specifically ChatGPT, has revolutionized this landscape. ChatGPT, as we've learned, is a state-of-the-art AI language model that has immense potential in the realm of cybersecurity. 
We then probed into the ethics of jailbreaking ChatGPT. While jailbreaking can unlock hidden capabilities, it's important to remember that it should always be done for educational or legitimate purposes. We must uphold responsible AI development and cybersecurity practices to respect the ethical boundaries set by creators and society at large. Moving forward, we discovered a range of fascinating jailbreaking techniques. The Dan method, which enhances conversational depth and the evil confidant prompt, which unfilters opinions, both allow us to push the boundaries of AI interactions. The switch method, on the other hand, enables toggling between different personalities, adding a layer of versatility to our interactions with ChatGPT. We also discussed character emulation prompts, a technique that allows for role-playing and how it can be used in diverse scenarios, from security testing to social engineering attacks. This method gives us the ability to craft more persuasive and effective messages, a skill that can be invaluable in ethical hacking. In essence, the key to mastering ethical hacking lies in understanding the tools at your disposal, navigating the ethical landscape, and constantly pushing the boundaries of what's possible, all while being mindful of the potential consequences. Remember, ethical hacking is a powerful tool when used responsibly. Keep exploring and keep learning. Uh, before we wrap up, we want to remind you that your support keeps us going. If you found this video helpful and informative, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. We're always looking forward to sharing more insights, techniques, and discussions about ethical hacking and AI. Remember, the world of ethical hacking is vast and ever-evolving. The more you learn, the more you realize there's so much more to explore. So keep that curiosity alive, keep questioning, and keep pushing the boundaries. But remember to do so responsibly. Stay tuned for more such intriguing videos, and as always, thanks for watching. Immerse yourself in the intriguing realm of cybersecurity with TAC Raven Cyber Academy's exclusive YouTube channel membership. Unlock premium benefits like special shoutouts and videos, and influence our content with your suggestions. Be part of a global community of digital defense enthusiasts, gain insider access to exclusive perks, and support our channel's mission to create valuable content. All this for a mere $4.99 per month. Dive deep with TAC Raven and supercharge your cybersecurity journey today.